Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about three more ways that you can ease your sore, cracked, maybe open, damaged nipples from breastfeeding. As always, I am a lact lactation consultant, but I'm not your lactation consultant. And so getting to the root cause of why that damage is there, making sure that you're optimizing your baby's latch and attachment at the breast, outruling things like a tongue tie, can all make sure that you're having a much more comfortable journey. And if these things aren't easing, aren't helping within the first 24 to 48 hours of application, the chances are that there was maybe a fungal or bacterial infection going on. So the guidance would be to take a swab of the face of the nipple and areola as well as a sample of express milk from the affected breast and then send that off for culture and sensitivity to grow on a little petri dish and find out exactly what's going on so that you can have the appropriate treatment. So with that said without further ado let's dive into these three little products that you can use to ease so the first thing I'm going to talk about is less of like a topical product and more of um, a, a handy dandy gadget so when we talk about you know moist wound healing when we talk about clearing the environment and optimizing it for wound healing we want to make sure that we give plenty of space for the nipple to heal and if we've got maybe a breast pad and a bra the, that friction that rubbing that chafing um, and then a baby who is maybe suboptimally latched causing more discomfort you can end up in a quite a quite a lot of pain enter breast shells so breast shells have this lovely soft silicone backing your nipple goes directly central into the cavity there and it's beautiful because it gives you that your nipple that space to heal and you can apply you know your lovely nipple balm your cream your lanolin a little bit of olive oil and um, express breast milk but also be at being able to give your breast that chance to heal so it's really nice to avoid any of that extra chafing. It also has the lovely added benefit of if you are, are struggling with inverted nipples and your baby's having difficulty latching on, in between feeds, there's not very much evidence for antenatally, but in between feeds, applying these breast shells can help the nipple to stay everted for a more optimal latch on. As well as that, another little benefit of these gizmos is that in between feeds, you might be noticing that you are maybe leaking a bit of breast milk, or as your baby's nursing on one side, you might be leaking on the alternative side. So similar to how you would use another milk catcher, like catcher like the LV Curve, the Ladybird, or the Haka, you might have heard of. These are really lovely um, milk catchers. So as you are nursing on the other side, you can be catching all that extra milk in here, and then you turn it like this, remove the top, you can pour that extra milk into a cup or a bottle for um, if your baby requires additional milk at any time or pop it into their bath or on their bottom if they've got nappy rash. So many lovely other ways that you can use any of your extra breast milk. As I said, with all of these products I'm talking about today, and I'm only mentioning three, we are going to be, I'll be making sure that I link as many of them in the description box down below if you want to get your hands on something similar. So the next thing that I want to talk about is actually addressing. And when we came back to promoting that moist wound healing environment we want to be thinking about our dressing as a part of that so here is this this aquacell ag extra so this is a very nice actually um wound packing <laughs> um wound packing sort of healing component it, it when it meets with milk creates this lovely gelatinous sort of hydrocolloid type film over the breast and over the nipple so the way that you would apply this is you would dampen it first either with expressing a bit of breast milk into it or dampening it with some nice cool, nice um, clean water and then you apply it to the breast between feeds for sort of 30 minutes or so twice a day so this is a really easy access dressing that you can get in most chemists and it's not hugely expensive either so the aquacell gauze is um, an easy one and a lot of public health nurses will recommend this it's a hydrofiber technology what else does it say on the not very much essentially a really nice moist wound healing um addition and the last little healing talk, healing device that we're going to talk about today is actually a cream and this is an ointment that your chemist will have to make up for you this is the apno cream uh, they make it up in the shop and it's got there's very little left in this one now but it's um, a very light um cream that has in it a very gentle steroid as well as an antibiotic um, component. I don't recommend using this as a as your first point of curing or healing. 
The reason for that is because you want to get to the bottom of why you're getting that pain and discomfort, of course, but of course with anything that you're applying to the breast, no matter how much you try and wash it off, if you're applying very sparing amounts, most of the time baby's fine to latch on afterwards, but our baby's still ingesting a small amount of that. So with the apnea cream, it's got a little gentle steroid in it. It's got that little antibiotic component in it, as well as, you know, the moisturizing component. So we're applying it really, really sparingly. So washing the area with an antibacterial soap and warm water first. Maybe you're doing, you know, your Epsom salt soak as well. Patting it dry with um, a clean sort of a tissue or a dry breast pad even, clean dry breast pad even, or a clean cloth. And then once it's all patted dry, you're going to apply just very sparingly, I'll show you even how much, that much, into around the nipple, very, very gently. Um, and then ideally you're giving it a chance to soak in. So you can apply either your silver cups or you can go ahead and apply your little breast shell over to allow the breast, the nipple chance to heal in between. So I hope that's helpful. We've talked about our apnea ointment, which should be um, our sort of last port of calling, but really sore damaged nipples. Um, Dr. Jack Newman is a really high, um, speaks very highly of using this apnea ointment. I will leave a little blog post that he has written. He's another fellow IBCLC and a paediatrician. Um, so I'll leave his take on the apnea ointment down below as well as exactly how to make it up. And um, as well as that, we talked about the Aquacel Gauze, which is a gorgeous, um, really sort of lovely, moist wound healing dressing. We actually use it in um, the nursing world an awful lot. They're pretty frequently used. And then we talked firstly about our lovely breast shells to really optimise that wound healing environment. I hope you found this helpful. As always, go back and check out my latching videos so you can make sure that you're optimising your baby's latch and attachment at the breast first to make sure that you are reducing the likelihood of ending up with any nipple trauma or nipple damage. And if you do want some more specific one-to-one -one support, touch base with me via my website, www.birthbabybeyond.ie and I would be delighted to help you.